Hello and welcome back. Guys, I've had this Camp Chef Woodwind Grill now for about a year, a little over a year, and it's been pretty good. I'm going to go through it in this video. This is a one year later review of the Camp Chef Woodwind. I'm going to tell you everything I really love about it, the couple of things that I've had that were minor issues and how they got taken care of, and a little bit more about this grill, maybe a couple tips and tricks in this video. Hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Check this out. All right, first things first, I don't have a new Beer Money sponsor yet on Patreon, but the first one was Not A Big Man Dawn, was our very first Beer Money Patreon sponsor. So thank you very much, Dawn. I'll enjoy this beer on your behalf. If you want to learn more about Patreon, you can check that out in the description below. All right, now let's get on this grill. The first feature that I really want to show you guys that I think sets the Camp Chef Woodwind and the other Camp Chef grills apart from all the other pellet grills, and this is a really big deal, is the ash dump feature underneath the grill. Let me get the camera and show you that. All right, so underneath the grill, we got this neat little handle right here. You flip up on that, pull this out, and underneath the ash cup, do -do -do, underneath the burn pot down here is this little ash cup. That's where your ash is. So with that, I can dump the ash out of the burner without tearing the whole grill apart every other cook. I've got probably 10 cooks on this, and all I do is dump this ash pot between each cook, and I'm good to go. Now, the very first modification I made to this, and it's not much of one, is I took out that silly grid thing in the pellet hopper. That just makes it hard to get to things. Nobody cares. It's not a safety feature. You're not going to stick your arm in there. And if you do, you probably deserve to get your fingers lopped off. So get rid of that thing. It's just a few screws. comes right out. Now I have gone ahead and put grill grates on my Camp Chef. I absolutely love grill grates. Everybody who follows this channel knows I love grill grates. They make every grill better, period. And grill grates makes a set for the Camp Chef Woodwind. It's the perfect size. It does not overlap your little grease pan down there so you don't make a mess in the barrel of the grill. And it's pretty easy in between cooks just to scrape this off. Now here's a tip for you. What I do is I'll move these to the front and go ahead and scrape all the junk to the back and let it fall there. I have that grease tray wrapped with foil, so this stuff will just burn off and make even better smoke. And then about every 10 cooks, I'll pull it down, vacuum everything out inside, replace that foil and put it back together. Really with the grill grates, all you need to do if you've had a messy cook, barbecue chicken is pretty messy, is just after each cook, scrape them off and they'll be ready to go. Another great part about the woodwind that I think is a real game changer for pellet grills is the propane fired sear box on the end. Pellet grills are famous for not getting hot enough for searing. Now with the grill grates on there and the camp chef set on high, you can get some pretty good sear on chicken and even burgers. Um, steak's a little bit different story. For a steak and really some burgers, a lot of times I like to smoke them at a lower temperature and when they get close to done, fire up the propane sear box and pop them on there for that final sear. You get a lot more flavor and a really good caramelization on the outside. I've made one minor modification to the sear box. Guess what? Yep, I put the grill grates on there too. Leave the stainless steel deflector underneath the grill grates to help spread out your heat, but you can replace the existing grill with grates that grill grates make specifically for the sear box of the Camp Chef Woodwind, and they work fantastic. Now there's one downside to having the Camp Chef Woodwind pellet grill with the sear box and the grill grates, and it's a pretty big downside. If you start cooking steaks reverse sear on this piece of equipment, you're never going to be able to go to Applebee's or Outback or Lone Star or any of those places again because those steaks compared to the steaks you'll make at home are dog food. Now it's not all sunshine and roses. There's been a couple little things that were a little irritating. When you run this grill at low fire, every once in a while you can run into what's called a flame out. And this happens with every brand of pellet grills. Camp Chef can handle it a little bit better by raising this chimney cap to give you some more airflow. That'll help a lot. But what happens is when the grill's at a lower firing rate, it gets to a point where the pellets burn down a little too fast and the stoker throws more pellets on top of it and it'll actually snuff out the flame more. So it's smoldering, the temperature's going down, the computer's telling it to throw some more pellets in there and it just gets worse and smolders worse and the smoke gets billowing out until eventually the thing will backfire and sometimes can catch a lot of stuff on fire inside the grill if you feed too many pellets before they light. So that's something you should watch out for with any pellet grill. I've only had it happen twice on me. We replaced the controller, we raised the chimney top, that helped a lot. 
I've had it happen one other time. These are not cookers that you're going to set and go to bed. I would not recommend that with any pellet grill. I don't care whose it is. That said, it's a relatively minor thing. If you're paying attention, you can catch it very easily. If you see the temperature of the cooker start to drop and drop and drop and drop and it's not recovering, you know you're getting into a flame out procedure. It's real easy. This is how you solve it. Turn the grill off, dump the pellets into the cup, including the ones that are already on fire. You can take a pot holder and take that cup out and put it somewhere safe and restart the grill. You're right back in business, no problem, very safe. But you do not want to let that go unattended or it will end up turning into a rocket engine inside this thing. Rectech has a controller that I have not gotten yet that I will probably integrate with this thing and try that. I hear that that gives you a lot closer temperatures. Uh, but also a lot better temperature monitoring. So I wouldn't mind trying a Rectech controller on this cooker. One other minor thing that I had was the casters on the legs got loose. And it got to where when you rolled the cooker around, they were just flopping around and, and just threatening to flip the whole thing over. Guess what? I made one phone call to Camp Chef and literally in three days, I had two brand new legs with casters on them to replace them, back up and running, good as new. So can't say enough about Camp Chef's customer service. And by the way, when I talked to Camp Chef about the flame out, they sent me a bag of new pellets, thinking it might be the pellets and a new controller, which I swapped out. So you're not gonna have any trouble getting a hold of customer support with Camp Chef and they will take care of you. So here's an important tip that'll really help you out a lot, especially when you're cooking things like chicken that you're gonna smoke at a little bit lower temperature, but you want that crispy skin. You want crispy skin on a pellet grill, grill grates and this trick. Start the grill. Go ahead and fire that grill up and let it get good and hot. Run it on up to about 350, 400 degrees and let it get hot. Open it up, turn it back down to whatever your low smoke setting is going to be. And then put your chicken on. You get that nice sizzle because it's searing that skin, which is what you want. And it's going to cool off and put that smoke flavor in there. So now with the grill turned down to high smoke, we'll get some nice smoke flavor into that thing for 15 or 20 minutes or however long you want to put smoke into your food. And then I'm going to crank it right back up to finish cooking it. Probably around 300, 325, something like that. Heating the grill up good before you start to cook on it does a couple things for you. Not the least of which is it's going to kill any of the germs and bacteria that might have grown in it while it was just sitting in your garage waiting for the next cook. So what else do I not like about the Camp Chef Woodwind? Nothing. It's freaking great. So what do I love about it? That's a much longer list. Number one, I love the flavor of the solid wood fuel. The pellet grill makes the best chicken you'll ever have. Reverse sear steaks are out of this world. It does a great job on briskets. I've done several brisket flats on it, which are fantastic. It does a great job on burgers. There's nothing you can't do on a Camp Chef Woodwind. It's almost as easy to keep clean as a gas grill because you have that dump feature that dumps the ash from the burn pot after every cook. So you don't have to tear the thing apart like you do other pellet grills every other cook. That alone is worth the difference in cost for a Camp Chef Woodwind in my opinion. It'll achieve temperatures up to 500 degrees, no problem. I have made pizza in this thing that was to die for. Homemade pizza now, homemade crust, not that crap you buy at the store already in a package. I mean the real deal with a pizza peel and a stone out of this world. If you're looking at pellet grills, have a serious look at the Camp Chef Woodwind. So the best thing I can tell you is Get yourself one of these things. There'll be stuff in the description below, things that I probably didn't think of while I was doing this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down in the corner there and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Give me some more there, right? Okay. All right, the next part of the woodwind that I thought, that gonna be.